Now that we have discussed about the different types of angles and the different types of pairs of lines existing and various other properties connected with lines and angles. Now let's see one of the axiom which is important in understanding the lines and angles more better. An axiom with its own definition. Now here an axiom says if a ray stands on a line then the sum of then the sum of two adjacent angles so formed by the ray with that of the straight line of the straight line is 180 degrees is how the property or the axiom says so let's see this axiom through the diagrammatic representation to understand the concept more easier so here it says if a ray stands on a line so let me take a straight line here is the straight line say l and imagine i project a light through the torch on this so a ray of light is made to hit out here if a ray stands on a line L this is how it stands in any angle irrespective of 90 degrees then if a ray stands on a line this being the ray this being the line the axiom says that the sum of two adjacent angles so formed by the ray we clearly know that the adjacent angles formed by the ray are this and this. So the sum of two adjacent angles so formed by the ray with that of the straight line will always be 180. So these two adjacent angles always form the sum 180. Obviously because the ray makes with the straight line being 180, the property says x plus y is this. This is how the axiom states. If a ray stands on a, stra on a straight line, then the sum of the angles, adjacent angles so formed by the ray with that of the straight line will always be 180 degrees. That is x and y will be supplementary angles is how we understand the axiom related with plane geometry. Now that we have discussed about axiom 1, let's see the axiom 2 which relates to the properties of the plane geometry. Axiom 2 and its definition. Axiom 2 states that if the sum of two adjacent angles as made by the ray is 180 degrees then the two non-common 
arms which make the respective adjacent angles with the ray must form a line is how the property says let's see axiom number two the axiom clearly states if the sum of two adjacent angles as made by the ray now it is given that the angles are adjacent say for example i have a ray now this ray makes adjacent angles and the sum of adjacent angles is 180 degrees and then the two non-common arms which make the respective adjacent angles say for example my adjacent angles here are x and y they are besides each other then the angle x which the ray makes say this is the angle x as made by the first non common arm this is the first non common arm which makes an angle x with this ray now there's another angle y which is just adjacent to x and made by the other non common arm so let's see the other angle which is made by angle y so the ray makes an angle y with the next second non common arm so the first non-common arm makes an angle x with the ray and the second non-common arm makes an angle y with the ray. Now the axiom 2 states that in such a case where x and y are adjacent, these two non-common arms must form a straight line. They cannot be bent, they must be straight or they form a straight line is how the property states. The axiom number 2. Therefore, first and second non common arms must form a straight line according to axiom number two. Therefore, when x and y are adjacent angles as made by the ray with the two non-common arms, first and second, then this ray making an angle x with the first non-common arm and this ray making an angle y with the second non-common arm and provided x and y are adjacent besides each other, then the axiom number 2 states that the first and second non-common arms must be a straight line. They cannot bend even with a slight angle they must be forming a straight line axiom number two and its definition and as the two axioms which we have discussed in the, in the session axiom number one and axiom number two are very much related to the linear pace therefore the two axioms related to the linear pace are called linear pair axioms just to make a note the two axioms which we have discussed are called linear pair axioms. That's how we define the axioms and the respective linear properties. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.